Hi guys, I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing waffles. So this is the recipe that my family has been using for as long as I can remember and they're so delicious and they're very versatile. So I'm using um, a combination of white flour, cornmeal and whole wheat flour. So that's one cup of white flour and then half a cup each of cornmeal and whole wheat flour. But if you wanted to omit the whole wheat flour, you totally could. And if you wanted to omit the white flour, you couldn't if you wanted to omit the cornmeal. You basically just need like two cups um, of some sort of flour mixture and the ratio is like very chill. And we need two tablespoons of sugar. Not too much because we're gonna be dousing these in maple syrup, duh. And then I have one tablespoon of baking powder. Oh, and I also want to add that there was half a teaspoon of salt. And now, just give everything a really good whisk. And that's just going to help avoid any lumps that are in here. Because what you always want to do is mix the dry ingredients really well, but once you've added the wet ingredients, you don't want to overmix or you'll end up with tough, chewy waffles. Ugh. Now, to that, we're going to add a third of a cup vegetable oil, one and three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm using almond milk, but you do you. And then three eggs, free range, please. And then all you have to do is stir this up. This is looking perfect. Now, all we have to do is let it rest for five minutes. And this is really important. Just let it chill out. You're probably eating these in the morning. You don't want to be rushed. It doesn't want to be rushed. Take it easy. And in the meantime, I'm gonna preheat my waffle iron. So this is my super hella vintage waffle iron. It's entirely cast iron and it's 100% fabulous. Uh, and I'm gonna to have to turn the fat on in a sec because it likes to smoke and clearly we don't clean it properly. So all you wanna do is give it a really good spritz with some nonstick cooking spray. If you're opposed to nonstick cooking spray, Brush it uh, with a pastry brush with some vegetable oil or melted coconut oil or butter or fat of your choice. Um, and now, I mean, I suppose this is pretty obvious, but just put some batter in the center, close it up, and let them cook until it's ready. Now, the amount of batter that you need depends on the size of your waffle iron, and the amount of time that it takes to cook depends on the size of your waffle iron. For me, a third of a cup of batter for about a minute and a half gives me perfect waffles. I'm so excited. Um, I also wanted to let you know that this batter makes about six waffles in this iron. Oh my god, it smells phenomenal already. So if, um, if you're not going to be eating all six at once, but you want to make them all at once, I would recommend that you undercook them slightly and then either leave them in the fridge or freezer. And when you go to reheat them, you can stick them in the toaster and once they're um, hot, they'll also be perfectly browned so you won't overcook them. That's my tip. So I'll meet you back when we've made a few and we can dive in together. Oh my God. Mmm, so good. Mmm. I love me some waffles. Mm, these are phenomenal. Seriously. They have such a nice texture and like flavor profile from the different flowers that you use, which also gives you just ultimate, ultimate crunch factor. Mmm. And with the maple syrup, Perfect sweetness, ultimate breakfast right here. Recipe is on ravinaskitchen.com. Make a photo, I just said it again. Make a photo and share it on my social medias. Take a photo and share it with me on my social medias. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm. And eat some waffles. Have a great day, bye guys. Mm, I'm really good.